Top of the morning, gentlemen. I'm back. I'm very tired. I'm, I'm actually a little sick. Coming down with something or whatever. Called out work, and that just means we get to build like... Okay, am I 30 seconds into this? Because I was reading something saying YouTube, because, you know, communists and stifling the free market and free speech... They review the first 30 seconds of a video to see if there's any sort of, um, you know, profanity. And that, and there isn't even a strict list of words you can't say. It's just what their interpretation of that is. And when you leave, and when you leave Democrats up to that kind of power, things get very interesting. So I think we're about 30 minutes, in 30 minutes, fuck, I can't talk today. We are 30 seconds past the start point. So fuck, shit, damn, let's get into it. So this is uh, this is actually a little project that I didn't intend on doing. It just kind of happened. I was bored and messing around with these big open plotches of grass and within the the Franklin County section of the park <clears throat> midway, and I was like, "What can I fit in there? What can I could I squeeze an attraction in there?" And I was toying around with all these you know the smaller foot footprint fair rides and stuff, and I settled on this an S and S. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say power tower because usually those are, you know, what you see at, you know, like Cedar Point and stuff, where it's four towers into one. I, I mean, it's an SNS free fall tower. If anything, I think this more loosely resembles a fun time um, attractions kind of drop tower, like drop line at Dollywood, where it's a small footprint and it's a small tower, not terribly tall or anything. But so I went and placed it down and I liked the location of it. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. We'll see what happens if I can doll this up and make it look good. And. Um, not trying to, you know, flex or nothing, but, uh, it looks good. The end product of this is something I'm actually incredibly proud with. So, of course, we're just going to time lapse through the fencing and all that good stuff. Mexico isn't paying for this one. Uh, it's a stupid joke on, fuck it. This government, this shutdown is crazy, you guys. In my Instagram bio, at John Hall underscore, by the way, all one word. And since we're on the topic of plugging stuff, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really does help out um, the channel and all that good stuff. And, and it's not even in the sense of trying to get to monetization because I look at some of the rates these guys make. It, it, it's close to jack shit. Um, so, off topic. But like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Just because I want to get this content out to more people within the community and you know eventually network and, and collab with these guys who are a hell of a lot better at this stuff than I am. A whole hell of a lot better. You know, it's fun. It's a far cry from the closed-minded, and I talked about this before, the closed-minded, you know, my way, my way, me, 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 piece of shit person I used to be. I love working with other people and getting their input, this, that, or the other thing, and that really does carry over into all these Planet Coaster builds. So, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Anyway, time-lapsing through all the nitty-gritty stuff, this, that, and the other thing, and there are a few things that do get changed up. Um, like, you, this building off to the left, or this half building, you see is absolutely hideous it's really just a copy and paste of the green of the green building off in the distance and i eventually did not stick with it just because um just because i it did, i don't know the aesthetics weren't exactly there that eventually gets cleared out and used as a boneyard for you know parts and stuff that i can reuse in places of the park for now i'll eventually fill that in with some buildings or you know what have you whatnot <clears throat> so this is really this section of the park has really been kind of my main focus for the past few days just because I want to get it done. Every time I zoom out, it's just a glaring open area of nothing, and I hate it, and I hate it. But this definitely does help fill it in. Um, so, yeah, that's basically all I'm working on in this video. I do have uh, some footage that I'm currently working on editing and time-lapsing and maybe collecting some more in-game later on tonight regarding uh iron bandit did some work on that rerouted the entire turnaround and top of the lift hill and the zero g stall over the lift is actually now an open frame steel support structure i think it looks really good it's not shown in here so i'll just probably go ahead and do an overview or something with that throw it in a, the next video so yeah busy 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 working on this and it's felt good these last few days i've actually had time to like sit down and work on this and hone what I think is my craft. I'm not entirely sure I can call this a craft yet because I'm still learning a lot of the ropes. But, again, and I'm just going to say it again and again and again and again. It's just one giant learning curve. You know, this whole living and building Planet Coaster stuff. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying all this. You know, loving some of the feedback I'm getting. I've been doing a lot of 
posting over in the subreddit, the Plan Co. subreddit, and talking with people and, you know, getting their inputs. And there's a lot of us nerds out there, you guys. You'd be very surprised. And that just makes my heart so fucking happy because my life philosophy now is just do whatever the fuck you want and makes you happy with outside of the realm of, you know, molesting children and murder and all that good stuff. So if you're into that kind of stuff, move to Hollywood. I, I, I won't stop you, but if you are more of a simpleton, as those elitist pricks put it, find something you love and just attack it wholeheartedly, you guys. Seriously. I, I've put myself in situations, and, and I've met people who rely solely on the idea of having to have someone permanent in their life because they have no structure themselves. It is a toxic thing to do. It is a toxic, toxic way to live. If you cannot live on your own and fend for yourself and love yourself without someone else being there to reassure that, you're setting yourself up to get hurt even more vastly. And, you know, don't even get me started on social media and depression and all that good stuff because I will talk your ear off. But I'm no doctor or clinical psychologist or anything like that. If you want to be a little bit more... Um, pragmatic in your healing processes go to an actual doctor talk to somebody you're not crazy if you talk to a therapist um don't even call him a therapist you know just just someone to chat to and talk about this deep life stuff because i think there's a stigma now that a lot of people follow where you can't talk about these things or you shouldn't because you just look like a whiny little bitch oh side note these um fans right here the you know the q line fans blowing the mist all that good stuff credit to mitchell on the steam workshop planet coaster steam workshop he created these, I just downloaded them, but I think they fit beautifully in the queue. And along with these queue oddings, I might mispronounce this, not in ah, uh, not in ah, uh, something like that. On the Steam Workshop, he uh, built those those wooden awnings that you see. <clears throat> those are his creation, not mine. Again, I got lazy, but I, I think they fit in really well. I eventually do do some other work with them, you know, adjusting the height, because the clearance, it's there. It's good enough for a guest to walk through, but it's kind of low, a little unrealistic. So I do adjust that off camera and it's all taken care of as I'm looking at the finished product on my other screen right now. But, you know, back to depression, anxiety, therapy, all the good stuff that makes us human that no one wants to talk about. There's a stigma. You know, you shouldn't talk about these things and people get afraid to. And, you know, if those people, if some people don't want to hear them, fuck them. You know, if, you know, I, I really, there's a lot of life or stuff you go through in your early 20s. And I know I'm going to be in my 30s and 40s looking back on these videos, listening to myself rant about these and go, you Dumb asshole, you have no idea what you're talking about. For right now, I think I've got a good idea for at least where I'm at in my life. And, you know, I think it's a, it's a, there, there should be a very paramount Im amount of importance placed on taking some time for yourself, really doing some soul searching and looking at the people around you and realizing if they are beneficial to your life or not. You know, I recently had an instance like that where I had to cut some people out. And if you're watching this video, nothing but love for you. Dead ass. Still love you to death. Um... But just having those some certain people around in your life, it, it really does take a toll on you and stuff, and and what you should what you should be doing, um, and you find yourself in situations that necessarily more or less stress you out than anything. And life is too fucking short to be stressed, you guys. I was talking to my buddy at the gym today, Gaines, and um, we were just reminiscing on some high school bullshit, and it, it, he was like, "Dude, that was like six years ago." I was like, "Holy." holy shit, over half of a decade. And when you say the word decade, it really throws you into perspective. Um, throws it into perspective about how quickly time does indeed fly. And the older you get, the faster it moves. We're halfway through uh, the first month of 2019, for the love of Christ. Pretty soon it'll be 2020, which has me incredibly lit, because 2020 is going to be a baller fucking year for the amusement park industry. You have no idea how incredibly stoked I am. I mean, it has the potential to be, but if Cedar Fair is going to be a bunch of head asses and send their two uh, big investment e-ticket attractions to Ohio, being Kings Island and one at Cedar Point, I'll be a little pissed. But um, it's a staple now for every summer that I do make it out to Sandusky to go to Cedar Point. And while I'm out there, I might as well swing by uh, Cincinnati or the outskirts of Cincinnati and check out Kings Island. Maybe this summer, maybe not. We'll see. And back to the time lapse. We, this was actually cool. This was entire. This was a very happy accident. So this is more of the less me project right here um this is the sign for the ride and i and i was having some trouble thinking of a theme or a loose theme or a name and, and you guys will notice a lot of the uh theming in this park is very loosely themed there are a lot of uh things that are consistent throughout the park such as the fencing and the curbs and all that stuff it's more this park is just more or less a showcase 
than an immersively theme park. It's a showcase of, I think, my abilities and, you know, just a, a very loose showcase of the Appalachian region <clears throat> and all that stuff. Because, like I said, I did live out there for a couple of years, and I will be back out there in a year. Not even a year. Uh, this summer, I'm making the move back out to the New River Valley. So that's something to look forward to, and uh, I'll revisit this park as I'm out there and uh, experiencing the infrastructure and area again, maybe more clear-headed and sober this time. But, yeah, so I went with the old Dominion drop line. Shout out my boy Sam, who just actually snagged a job with uh, Dominion Power here in Virginia. <clears throat> uh, they're, they're an electrical line company, and I was like, you know what, tall tower, Sam's going to be climbing towers and stuff, providing the casa with electricity. Um, let's just call it a drop line, you know, tower lines, whatever, just, you know, a subtle, not really play on words, just I'm kind of trying to run you through my thought process when I name this. So, Old Dominion, Dominion Power, Old Dominion, Virginia, Old Dominion drop line. I thought it worked out very well. And the rock work you see here loosely is loosely shaped like the state of Virginia. That was not intentional, actually. I just wanted to put some rocks in there to kind of add a cool backdrop. And I think it turned out okay. I mean, it looks kind of cool. It's a loose shape of the state of Virginia, Old Dominion. Virginia being, you know, the Old Dominion and the Commonwealth and stuff. I just figured, fuck it, that's, uh, that's actually very dope. So sometimes the happiest... I'm really happiest. The coolest and the best outcomes are total accidents. So if you're listening to this and you thought you were an accident, eh, fat chance you weren't, but you're also probably a badass. So that's my little motivation for today. So this is a very sloppy video, guys, because it was like six hours of total gameplay. Not consistent. I do have a life and stuff to do, but it was a total about six hours, and I just I fell asleep on my computer last night just editing out all the dead footage and footage of other parts of the park that I was working on while I was doing this project. So as we cut here to the real-time overview, you really overview. I gotta stop slurring words together. I think way quicker than I speak and that really bites me in the ass because sometimes people be like, what? What'd you say? And I gotta repeat myself and I don't like repeating myself. I wouldn't say I'm an alpha type, but I'm the furthest thing from fucking beta, okay, boys and girls? I'm going to stop getting cocky. I have 24 subscribers. I'm not the shit. <coughs> so, sorry for the, the, the cough is the byproduct of being a little sick. But here we are. I, I'm very happy with how this turned out and how it filled in to the area. Because when you ever go to a real park, it's not like individual paths and stuff. It's kind of just big slabs of concrete with some o concrete. I said that very weird, too. I hate listening to my voice and editing this part of the video, you guys. It's It's terrible, but... You know, I'm, I'm given the pipes that I'm given. So, when you go to a park, it's not individual paths, unless you're like a bush garden or something. So, there are some of those elements here in the park, because, you know, the it, it's loosely inspired by bush gardens of Dollywood. Um, it, it's just big slabs of concrete with open areas, and it's just kind of makes up this giant, you know, hamlet or area. So, I wanted to fill in these big green open areas you see throughout the park when I go through the overviews. Uh, with attractions and then foliage and shops and this and the other thing. So I think this is a good start to doing that. And I zoomed out to the main plaza because I wanted to kind of give you a perspective of the height of this ride. I didn't want it to be too big and overshadow um, Iron Bandit and its presence on the Hamlet. And I think <coughs> did an okay view or an okay job with that because it doesn't protrude the view too much. And yeah, I'm just really proud of this. It was a cool little build and there'll be more of these as this progresses to kind of fill in the park, but that's pretty much it. I'm really more excited to get w started on the other video and editing all that good stuff. So I'll leave you guys at that. Hope you enjoyed. Eyes peeled for the next one. We're going to do some really cool coaster work and all that good stuff. Have a good day. Um, if you're having a bad day, fuck that. Take a 10-minute nap. Wake back up. Make it a good day. That was fucking stupid. All right. Ciao, you guys.